morning. Today we're doing quite a bit, quite a few different things. First of which is getting Roth delivered. So that way the uh, concrete trucks and pump pump trucks can make it up the driveway it's supposed to rain and snow. So the hope is that I get it for the slab here in two days. So slab for the house. Oh. Right there. Whew. There he goes. Well, now I have something else added to my list of things to do today. He uh, pushed it pretty close. I have plenty of gravel back in here. I guess let's see right about here is a culvert <laughs> so I get to dig a lot of rock but I have a skid loader so that should help but he cut the corner too short well I probably need a whole nother load because he didn't have it extended all the way back up when he was dumping through here so that's all half as thick as it needs to be um, so and he's got some at the entryway there so he'll finish that come to this portion and then maybe split this off and head up that direction glad he didn't tip over all right let me show you what I'm doing today I have a list of things to do today, one of which is hook up to the hook up my plumbing to the sewer system coming in over yonder. Got to put rebar around the perimeter of the slab um, to reinforce along the edges. I'm going to put wire mesh also around the edge just to help reinforce and inhibit movement if there's future cracks along the edge i need to get the compactor started the plate compactor and compact these edges i haven't done that yet before i put the rebar in and then i have garage floor drains i need to put in and plumb out and i move that heap of uh gravel down there and I have to dig out the ends of my culverts that the sewer company installed. And I need to put in stakes for uh, screet, screet boards or roller screets, depending on which we use. So that's what is on the agenda for today. Whatever I don't get done today, I have tomorrow as well, but today's 65, tomorrow's 30 and snowy. So I'd prefer to get most of it done today. So, I'm working down here. Here's my, my line coming in. For some reason, when they brought the sewer in, they didn't line it up. So, I get to use an excessive amount or an excessive number of 45s. One, two, three, four, five, six. You can see here to bring it over. So that's slightly a pain, but that's what I'm up to right now. Trying to get that done. It's 
So it has been a while since I have like recorded or done anything really um, out at the property. I just got out here and it actually started raining. So that's not the greatest because obviously that causes issues. I don't know if Josiah is even here right now. He might be like running errands or something because I don't see his truck. But anyway, um, the last couple weeks, Joe's just been working on plumbing, which is not something that I can help with. Elson and I would look, like come out and like hang out for a while every now and again, sometimes bring out meals and stuff, but there really wasn't anything that I could help with. Um, but basically right now we're getting ready to pour the concrete slab. So in order for that to happen, we had to do plumbing, backfill, um, we had to like pack down the sand because we backfilled with sand. And then um, I think we had to like put down mesh and bend down like rebar. And I'm not entirely sure what else has to happen. Um, but I guess we will find out eventually because that's just kind of how it goes. So yeah, that's what's happening. finished filling in the, the hole from connecting the house plumbing to the city sewer line and what we've begun to do is bend over these pieces of rebar kind of like this so we bend the pieces of rebar over and then we're going to run a double strand of rebar perpendicular to those pieces, kind of like this. I don't know if you can see that very well, but they'll run perpendicular. I'll use wire ties and a twisty tie tool to tie them up. Um, so uh, my dad's just been bending them over and I've been laying out rebar. We ran out, so I need to get a couple more sticks. But we're gonna do that. And then we're also going to run a double strain of rebar along the thickened footings. So. Um, I gotta get some rebar chairs for that. So while my dad goes along and twisty ties what I have bent, I'm gonna start working on the garage floor drains. So they're gonna go in here somewhere. Just two of them kind of centered where I think the vehicles are gonna park. So I'm gonna tie them together, run them over to this wall, and run them along. And I have, you can't see it, but I do have, you can see there's screws there. That's holding the PVC pipe. And that PVC pipe is a, a pipe through the wall. So I'll come out kind of down in there. And then I'll just run the, the garage drains out this way. So that's the plan. See how far we get before lunchtime. So what I've done is I kind of figured out where I think the cars are going to sit. And then uh, that's this, I try to put the box kind of right underneath the middle of the car. And then as far as how far apart, I just measured the door of a car opened up and 
wanted to leave enough space for the door to open on the far side and then enough room for doors to open without hitting another vehicle in the middle and then uh, the, the remainder space is over here um, it's going to be a path a pathway you know out the front of the garage and there might be shelves along uh, the wall over here so um, it's a transit laser transit level and receiver to uh, put my garage floor drains in now I want them lower than the rest of the garage that way the water drains here but obviously I don't want them too low because I'm gonna get too significant of a slope so I'm shooting for an inch to an inch and a quarter so um, I kind of figure out where the top of my floor is gonna be go down an inch and a quarter and set my boxes and then from there my line goes to that wall and then crosses over to an exterior wall when I poured the foundation I put a sleeve in there with four inch PVC and the three inch PVC is able to slip right right on through so that's where my garage drains will come out of the house so I just need to run a line over here to this corner and then tie it into my two boxes actually they're called catch basins technically technically 